Last episode, I made working based on the mountain. But today, I'm making a claw ride using the create mod. Will it work how I want it to? Or are my plans destined to fail? You'll have to wait and see. Let's get into it. First, I'm going to need to find a nice little spot for this claw machine to go because... It's kind of crowded right now, so I think I might do it here. I'm just going to clean out all this. That's done, so I think I'm going to get some quartz to make the actual claw. And I'm going to come over here and make a small platform out of wood where it'll be. And I'll have my small little platform. I'm going to put some fences around it. I think that's okay. So my little gates to connect it, maybe? Yeah, that'll do. And I think I need to make like a little control area that'll control the actual like claw. So I'll do it right here. And that'll do for now. Now I need to get stacked on the claw, and I have no idea how I'm going to build this. Maybe I should use, like, some stairs or something. All right, so those two are the middle blocks, and I need to, like, make the actual, like, outside of the claw that's going to hold it up. So I think I'm just going to put it in the ground somewhere. Like that. <laughs> it definitely looks much better with stairs. Now, does that look okay? How it looks a little bit smaller. I might make the top a little bit higher, so, yeah. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Right, so I had to move the control room over because I didn't want the claw to fall on its head, so I'm going to build this here. Done. Well, I think maybe it needs a little bit more colour and decoration because that looks so plain and boring. So I just finished adding a little bit of colour and I think it's starting to look a little bit better now, but yeah, sure. Now I'm going to work on the claw bit that comes down and spins and does the... Yep, that. So if I just build down and then I should get the sort of claw shape that i can make yeah sure if i maybe do something like that and then put some stuff around maybe oh away i'm an idiot it's these two for god's sake okay that's gonna overcomplicate things a little bit but you know what is that mm, i mean mm, sure you know what it looks fine i'm just gonna now make the actual like color bits come out and then yeah they can yeah that right so it was looking kind of too chunky so i decided to like i thought why don't i put some panels in some frame panels so i can get like the vertical slab effect kind of thing and then it now looks thinner and it doesn't look all weird and yeah and i think that's pretty much done now i'm just gonna have to add some seats onto these later and now I need to make it actually spin and work. So I'm going to put a creative motor in here. And then when I add this thing, it should start spinning the... Yeah, but I haven't glued it yet. So I have to glue this whole thing together. So I'll just start gluing now. Right, so I added some seats and I just finished gluing it. And I hope to God that everything is glued. But there's only one way to find out. I think I glued everything right, but we'll see. As soon as I add this mechanical bearing, we'll see if it worked. So, please, can we I glued everything? Oh, obviously not. Brilliant. Oh, I forgot to glue this layer. Okay, like that, I think. And now when I add in the mechanical bearing for the second time, obviously I forgot to glue something, so brilliant right looks good but the problem is it's spinning in one direction and there's no speed increase or anything like that so i want to make it swing one way and then swing until it goes over the top so it's gonna to have to keep swinging like build up the momentum so what i'm gonna do is if i move this creative motor one back and i add in a clutch and then i'm gonna add in a gear shift then I add the clutch, I add the, the clutch and the gear shift to this. So what the gear shift is going to do is when we put redstone on it, it's going to switch the direction of this. So you see how it changes like right there? And then the clutch is just going to stop it. So what I was thinking was it had a redstone signal sending a signal to this. So it changes direction every now and then. Like that. And then it builds up its momentum. So I'm going to go create a redstone system. Right, so I attached a button from the office into this little redstone area. And this is where I'm going to do all the redstone for the whole thing and make it work. So I'm going to use these redstone links. And I'm going to put links down here. And then that's going to send the signal up. Turn it to switch direction on the gear shift. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set that to the frequency of stone in the first slot. 
And then up here, I'm going to do the exact same thing on the gear shift and set it to a stone frequency. And then if I hit with a wrench, that'll make that receiver. So it's going to receive from there and it's going to get the instructions of what to do. Now, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add quartz in this one and make it a receiver in the clutch. And then I've done the same thing over here under this block with the quartz. So I can toggle this lever on and off. When I put it on, it'll send the signal up here and the clutch won't spin. That stops the whole thing from spinning. So that'll be like the safety switch, I guess you could call it. Uh, we're going to go make the things for this now. So, so what I was going to do is use repeaters for these because these can still transmit the redstone signal afterwards. So when the repeater gets the signal, if I use more repeaters with more delay as it goes along, it'll look like it's building up the momentum. I just finished this simple redstone circuit and what it's doing is going up gradually in speed. One, two, four, eight and then it gradually decreases at the end. Before I add in the frequencies, I just want to show you what it does. So if I put a button here and press it, it'll switch every now and then, which I think will make the whole thing spin like gradually and not straight away. Once it gets to the end, it'll gradually decrease and then eventually it'll just stop. And I forgot to add in this. So now I'm going to add in every single frequency here. And now that I've added my frequencies, I'll come back up and hopefully, right. So push the button, then hit the lever to take the safety off. Now. I mean, mm, kind of works, but the seats are upside down, so I have no clue why. Let's try and ride it. I'm hoping to God these seats don't put me upside down. I'm going to have to run for my life as soon as I hit this button. Come on. Oh, um, it doesn't let me on the seat. Nice. Why are the seats switching direction? This thing is absolutely crazy. Well, obviously I have some redstone to fix, but it kind of works. I have no clue why the slabs are changing direction. I think that's an issue we create. And then we'll stop it there. Nope. There. Nope. There. Now I'm going to force some villagers to ride this ride. And now you are going to ride this forever and ever and ever. And now let's ride with the villagers. Or not. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.